black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo, what up, you guys? Back with another mukbang slash review sort of thing, I guess. All right, so I've been seeing this vegan Beyond Meat burger from a and been going around. That's the one of the good chains that we actually have in Canada. So I'm like, obviously I'm gonna have to give it a try. I've always wanted to try one of these crazy next level scientific Bob the Bill Nye guy creations of meat that isn't meat. And from what I'm hearing, it's like pretty banging. Everybody's saying that it's legit. I will be the judge of that for myself. That being said, I did only not get just that. I got another burger, a regular burger to compare. So Side by side, meat to fake meat. Because I feel like it just, you need that to be able to decipher whether or not it, it really is on point. So I've got the onion rings. Mmm, take a sniff of that. AW's onion rings are pretty fire. They're a different uh, batter, they're very like flaky. This guy is the regular teen burger. Oh my god, I just, can you look at this? Teen burgers are so perfect looking. Just like everything you ever needed and more, you know? And we have, da 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 da, this is the guy. Oh, looking kind of sloppy. Beyond Meat Burger. Maybe I shouldn't use such a large manly voice because that's what meat is Im implicating, that men like beef and steak. So this is the Beyond Meat Burger. Boom, check that out, okay. It's a &W Confetti. Next thing, of course, we have to have our sauce plate palette for your palette. Like when they're doing the finger paintings. A dab of crimson blue and a dab of crimson blue. I don't even think it's crimson red. Tide? Well, here's the crimson. Here's the crimson red. I will say A&W is pretty legit when it comes to saucing up their shit. Okay, so the first thing I want to do with this guy is, I know it's going to seem weird, but I actually want to give it a smell. It's not only pretty legit. It looks just like the meat patty over here, kind of. Like it's almost similar. If you can see that, have a look. And I guess there's nothing to do now but bite it in the full burger form. Okay, I mean, all right. I'm a little disappointed off right off the bat. So, I mean, right off the bat, I I can fully, flavor profile-wise, I can tell that this is a, is a veggie burger. 100%. They definitely have the texture down. The texture's there. It's pretty solid in terms of a replica of meat. I just know that when I've eaten veg, veg vegan patties, veggie patties before, there's that. The umami of the, like, almost soy, like that. Umami, earthy, almost bitter kind of soy sauce taste to it. There's 100% got to be soy in this. I absolutely can guarantee that I'm tasting that I'm getting that now it's not as offensive as other patties that I've tried in my life so it's doing a pretty good job let's cycle out to the regular burger the team burger the real meat and see what the difference is here take a chunk of the beef yeah they look incredibly different as well the coloring profile you can see like the little fat chunks here they're definitely there's no replacement for that grease the grease the fat that leaks from uh, the burger
way different. It cannot be compared. There's no fooling me that this is not meat. And there's no way that these are actually comparable in the sense of like an actual beef taste. I'm sorry. There are the YouTubers that I thought for sure would be able to distinguish, but for me, it's not, it's not doing it. And I'm not trying to be like snobby or anything. It's just, these are the facts. Like, At least on my palate, there's no comparison. So let's have an onion ring. I'm going to go ranch. Mm. Delicious ranch onion rings. Um, I'm going to peel the layers on these guys and I'm actually definitely having to put onion rings on these burgers. All right, so I've upgraded these guys. Put onion rings on it. Onion rings make everything better. Much better with the extra sauce, much better with the onion rings. Still definitely getting that like umami. Soy flavoring from the patty. Most deaf. a w is mad expensive too. They do everything like a la carte. I feel like I don't think they, they don't have like meal combos really. So a teen burger, this burger and onion rings all was 20 bucks, pretty much right on the head. No drink. So it's like almost like seven bucks an item, pretty much six fifty an item. Uh, and I don't know. I just, I don't know if. I mean, it's not horrible, but like onion rings should not be six bucks. Just an opinion, but just a thought. So I just walked my ass down to Eaton Center to get this. from the food court. And I don't know who in their right mind, like I don't understand these people who are like mall rats and shit, who like would like to spend any more time than you'd have to down there, in there, around there. It's just such a nightmare. I understand if you're a tourist, you're here, you're shopping, you're checking out the Eaton Center, great, cool. If you live here, I don't know why you'd ever want to subject yourself to that kind of like, just chaos. I can't handle it. So many humans just like with every different thing on their mind, like bouncing around, like just little fucking electrons, but, 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 and like nobody knows where they're going. Everybody's crossing each other's paths. I'm like within the three escalators that I had to go on to get downstairs on the way down every single one. I almost 
was about to walk onto, the person in front of me realized that they weren't like going to the right place or they didn't need to go downstairs. And right as they got on the escalator, they just stop and turn around. And you're like, and there's like everybody else who's filing behind you. And this one person just stops and abruptly turns around. And then they're like, oh, oh, sorry. And it's like, what did you think was going to happen when you just like stop abruptly on an escalator and turn around? There's clearly going to be a thousand people behind you. It's just crazy to me how much people don't think. They're just in their own little la la world, like the da 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 da. da. Plus, oh, there's people around me. I didn't. Who would have thought that? And so that actually just raised an idea, but I've been thinking about it for a long time. I was actually going to do a video of this just to see. I, I, I think pet peeves are really interesting and I have a bunch of them, but I think some of mine are like really strange and weird. So I'd like to like express a list of my pet peeves on here to you guys. And it just to see in the comments how many people are like, Either, yo, that's crazy, I thought I was the only one, I relate to that, or see how many people are like, you're a fucking psycho, and I don't know why that it would ever bother you. And just have you guys share yours as well. If you guys are into that video idea, let me know, because it's actually a video I wanted to do, just like lit a list of like my strange, weird like things that like really bother me. In life, and you know what I mean? I have some pretty weird ones that I don't think are very standard. Mm. Teen burger, real burger, so good. Light years ahead. One of my most hated pet peeves is, and it happened to me right as I was walking back with this food. <clears throat> I was walking behind this lady. And she was far enough ahead of me. Eventually, I was going to pass her because I had a pretty fast w walker. I walk fast. When I'm walking, I know my destination. I know where I'm going, and I just, like, go. So she's on the phone, and she sparks up her cigarette. And I hate walking behind people who just lit up a cigarette because you're just behind them, and you're trying to, like, no matter where you go, like the proximity of their escalation, it's always kind of in, it always ends up hitting you. And so now you're behind, like you're behind the cig smoke and you're just like inhaling their second shit and like you're smelling it and it's gross. And it's just like, it's just it potentially to get up to them and get past them. But I hate when I get hit in the face with like a, cr a cloud of like fresh cigarette smoke that somebody just lit up. Who's walking in front of me? I hate it. And this lady was a multiple pet peeve offender because when I did get up to her, I don't know what it's with. Maybe it's my energy or maybe it's just the way that the walking universe works. The rules of the walking universe. Anytime you ever get up to where you can finally pass the person, they always, always, always somehow with eyes in the back of their head, just drift over the way that you're gonna go. And then you have to like stop up, check short, and then you go the other way and somehow they just like end up going back and you're like, what the fuck? Like, 
why can't I get around you and why are you blowing darts in my face? Like, I don't, it makes no sense. Can I just, like, how did you know I was trying to get around you? Like, but it always, always happens. I sometimes just feel like the, the need to like yell, like passing on the left so that they'll just not move. Team burgers, I'm telling you. Delicious. One of the best burgers out there for sure. It, the Whopper. <sighs> nice cold glass of water, heaven. All right, well, Sorry if it disappointed you, but it disappointed me. Like, all these people were preaching this big shit about it and how it's like, oh, you can barely tell, or I wouldn't even know the difference, or oh, that one actually tastes better and more flavorful. No, not true. The meat burger still reigns supreme. For me, it's getting an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Like, I love, I just love those. If that had held up, I'll give it an honest review. Like, if it beat it, it beat it, but it didn't. And I think, for me, that veggie burger, I wouldn't eat again. And I would give it, like, I don't know, 6.5, maybe. Light 7. Though, if I were a vegan vegetarian person, and... All I ate were those type of burgers. I bet that would be great. I bet that would be like a nine or a ten. Like I bet that would be, you know, way better than what's out on the market for them. But in terms of comparing it to something that's real, not even close. So take what you will from that. I don't know. A uh, bit of a weird video because I don't really do like reviews that much. But anyways. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay and true. <laughs>